According to the World Health Organization, cancer is a disease that is responsible for over 13% of the worldwide yearly deaths. Although there are many ways to treat cancer, in many cases, a relapse of the tumor occurs due to a certain type of self-renewing chemotherapy-resistant cancer cell called cancer stem cells. My research project is aimed at targeted drug delivery to cancer stem cells using carbon nanotubes conjugated with the anti-CD133 antibody, carrying a chemotherapy drug and a matinib. For my procedure, I grew lymphocytic leukemia mouse cells in flasks, identified cancer stem cells through flow cytometry, checked for chemotherapy resistance of these cells, and treated the cancer stem cells with my novel configuration of carbon nanotubes. My results show that in all four tests that I ran, the entire carbon nanotube configuration worked the best, killing 100% of the cells. In all the other controls for all the tests, less than 20% of the cells died. The reason for chemotherapy resistance of cancer stem cells is a membrane transporter protein called ABCG2, which significantly reduces intracellular concentrations of the chemotherapy drug. However, when the carbon nanotubes conjugated with the anti-CD133 antibody carrying a matinib along with ethidium bromide binds to the CD133 expressing cell, the nanotube is swallowed through the cell's permeable membrane. The drugs, loaded into the high-capacity nanotube, are released into the cytoplasm. At an intracellular level, the imatinib suppresses ABCG2 by binding to it, allowing the ethidium bromide to act, destroying the DNA of the cell. This novel method, which targets cancer stem cells, could possibly provide a way to treat relapses of cancer.